How's it going? I'm Sasha Cohen. Nice to meet you. Good morning, Sasha. David Fithian. Nice to meet you. And we were wondering, what do you know about the Clark Entrepreneurship Program? I know about the program. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited about um, what I do know. And you know what it says is, is, what's special about entrepreneurship innovation at Clark is that it's, it's really tied to the university's ethos about challenging convention, about being innovative, about inspiring creativity. And I think the club is able to do that um, with students, um, connect them to faculty, to staff, and also importantly to, to alums and people out in the world. So I think it's a really exciting program. Uh, I appreciate and, and uh, applaud you for your efforts to grow the program, to engage more students. And um, you know, it's one, it's one of a number of things that I think makes the Clark experience really special. And you obviously know a good amount about it, but how would you like recommend us to market it more towards campus and like how could we like make it more known around campus as an, as a, like a staple of Clark? Sure. So my sense is that aspects of the program and things that I'm more familiar with, like the thrift store, like the pop-ups in Red Square, like Clark Tank, mm-hmm. uh, you know, those are probably known to more people, but less in terms of how they connect to a larger program. Mm-hmm. So I think the key is really to help more students understand that there is this larger program and that the different elements that they may be aware of really roll up into something even more that you know, pr- provides opportunity for them to get involved um, and, and perhaps opportunities closer to what their interests may be if they aren't any of those three things. We did notice you passed through the Wednesday pop-up. What did you think of it? When it, by. Yeah, thanks for the question, Wen. It's it's great. Like I always enjoy going through Red Square and seeing, you know, Clark Life at its at its liveliest, and you know that Red Square very much is kind of the center of gravity. So it's a great place to hold these activities and and others. Um, so it's just it's great to see students involved. I think I think the pop ups that happen there, you know, should become an important tradition. Mm-hmm. I know people look forward to it. So um, again, another another activity that I really applaud and uh, thank you for for sponsoring. What could you or what would you like to see more done from the program things that you might have not heard about? You know as president of the university and yeah. as an educator myself you know it's always great when extracurricular life really does wrap around and become integrated into your academic experience mm-hmm. so to the extent to which the program can be even more closely linked to courses or, or to research that's happening at, at the university or to the work of other clubs that may be looking to, to be folding in aspects of entrepreneurship or innovation into, into their activities. So I think it's generally the more tentacles, mm-hmm. the more points of contact you have with other aspects of life at Clark, both in the classroom um, and outside the classroom, I think the more robust and, and beneficial and exciting the program will be. That's amazing advice. And do you have any advice for somebody who's a student entrepreneur and someone who's like focusing on some sort of innovation? Sure. Make sure people know that that's your interest. Make sure people know that you have passion for that. Um, it's, there, was, there used to be advice um, that I would hear often when you're earlier in your career and you're thinking about you know job searches and things. And the advice was tell everybody you know that you're looking for a job and what kind of job that mm-hmm. is. And often that's people are shy about that because they either don't want people to know they're looking for a job or, you know, they, they're fearful that if people know they're looking for a job and they don't get it, you know, they, they will feel like a failure. Tell everybody mm-hmm. what you're trying to do, why it's important, because you never know when you're going to meet somebody or plant a seed with somebody that ends up really blossoming into this great relationship, expanding the program even more. So my advice is just let everybody know what you're interested in, what your passions are, what specific you know, projects you might be working on. Um, because uh, if they don't know, they don't know. Right, right. So networking in, in a sense, right? Yeah, but I think I mean, networking, yes. But I think networking mm-hmm. often to people can take on a more formal aspect to it. And I think right. part of what I'm encouraging to do is, is in the informality of just conversations you're having in the dining mm-hmm. hall or residence halls or wherever you might be having them, that, that that that's an important aspect of this too. Right. That's, uh, that's why I, I never thought about it that way. Thank you. And what would you say your like day to day life is like as a president? Us behind, like as students, we don't really know too much what the president does. You know yeah, what I great, mean? So we're curious. Great question. So 
Um, you know, to relate it to a sort of business world, president of university is like the CEO of another company or organization. So a, a lot of my work is around setting future directions for the university, um, developing a vision for where Clark, um, I think Clark should go, um, working with the leadership team, assembling a leadership mm -hmm. team that can uh, provide a direction for different parts of the university, whether it's the graduate school and its programs, or the college, or the school of management. You know, the one thing people assume is that the president of the university does everything, knows everything, makes every decision on campus. Um, and spoiler alert, it's not true. So, you know, the president really focuses on, on vision setting, strategic framework, a uh, big part of my role is, is in fundraising and attracting mm -hmm. resources to the university. A big part of my role is alumni engagement, mm -hmm. staying in touch with, with alums, engaging them in the life of the university. But my job isn't daily to manage the college right. Right, and undergraduate programs. It isn't daily to, to manage you know, any of the professional degree programs or graduate programs. But it is to, is to kind of provide leadership to the university um, work with the Board of Trustees to make sure that we fulfill our, our goals and our ambitions. Um, it's an exciting job, and, and as, as an alum of Clark, it's a real honor, frankly, and a privilege for me to be able to be in this role, which, you know, when I graduated 35 years ago, I, I never would have imagined. So, really, yeah. So when I was first back on campus, which was at the start of the summer of 2020, I... Uh, yeah, I'd walk around campus in the same paths I walked as a student and think, what am I doing here? <laughs> but it's been, it's been really a remarkable opportunity. And look, I think we've worked through. And what would you say is the most challenging part of being a president? You mentioned some, but what would you say is the, the one part that, that stands out? And honestly, how you, how you overcame that challenge, right? Because... And honestly, there's a way in which I don't say this to... to be dramatic, but there's a way in which no day goes by without some challenge, you know, in the sense that, you know, while you anticipate regular meetings, you kind of know what your schedule is going to be. I mean, honestly, every day, something unexpected comes up. And that, that's not always, uh, you know, a big dramatic thing, but, but there's almost always something to be worked through, something to be discussed. But I think the, I think the, challenge, the biggest challenge is to balance ambition, pursuit of goals, resources available to help you do that, uh, and expectations, right. right? That it really is this balancing act of, we know we wanna do some big and bold things. We believe, uh, because we've done our homework, that those are things that will really help advance the university mm -hmm. in good and important ways. But you can't do them all at once. Um, some of them really require a lot of resources that we don't yet have. Mm -hmm. And so the challenge really is sort of, is figuring out, you know, what is the strategy? What is the sequencing in which you do the things that you can afford to do now? Or coming to the conclusion that um, we shouldn't do this thing that's a priority until we know we have sufficient resources in hand to make sure that once we begin that, we can see it through. So it's so a, lot of, a lot of juggling of mm -hmm. priorities, a lot of work spent on you know, what it means to, to um, you know, frankly, to take risk. And, and I think that's something we need to do as an institution. Would you say, as a student, you probably face challenges with balancing school life and any extra, extracurriculars. Do you feel like your time at Clark has helped you learn how to balance your time? And have you used those skills to um, fill your position as president here as Clark now? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I had a fantastic education at Clark, and it was partly, it was primarily, I should say, because of the incredible faculty mm -hmm. that I met, but also staff. I had a number of real staff champions as well as faculty champions who believed in me, believed in my ability, and even when I hit bumps in the road, which I certainly did, and which I believe every student does, there were people there to really sort of push me forward, you know, cheer me on, uh, and that made a, a a real difference in terms of how, to, how I learned to, to overcome adversity, to kind of manage my own life. You know, what I've said to people who've just asked about kind of my career, there's no question that Clark 
set me on the path of going on to get a PhD and living my life in higher education. And it was partly because my experience as a student here gave me the opportunity to fulfill a natural curiosity about how organizations work. Which is to say, I was because I was interested, I was able to figure out, so what do these vice presidents do? And to your question, what does the president right. of the university do? And how does the place work? And I'm not sure that institutions of much larger size or of a different character or nature would have given me the opportunity to really kind of look behind the curtain and sort of figure out what does it mean right. to kind of run a higher education institution. And really from the time I left Clark and, and then went on directly to graduate school, that curiosity, that interest in, in higher education and, uh, and how it's organized and how it kind of fulfills its mission um, and promise to society has continued to be an a incredible passion and, and, and again a privilege to be able to be involved in that work. What's your favorite local business here in the, the Clark? You know, area? you gotta love Annie's. And and so, you know, I, I love Annie's because, um, because when I was an undergraduate, Annie's mm -hmm. was Wendy's, really? Clark Branch. Wow. So it's had a couple of different owners and a couple of different names. But when I was here in the mid to late 80s, it was Wendy's Clark Branch. And I didn't know it at the time, but Annie, who was, uh, Annie worked for Wendy. Mm -hmm for six years and then bought the business and took it over and has been running it since. So you gotta love Annie's. But you know, I really, I, I deeply appreciate the, uh, the opportunity around small business for mm -hmm. people who really are getting ahead in life, have a skill, have a talent, have a craft, and what that can mean to, to start that in a small business in a community like Clark. And so, um, you know, we're very supportive of small businesses. Um, we're, we're working on a couple of programs right now that I won't get into um, just because of time mm -hmm. that um, are directly uh, intended to help generate small business and, and help them to be successful That's um, amazing. in their first you know, one to three years. Yeah, great. Well, we get to wrap Sasha, up. Sasha, it's wonderful to, Thank you, to spend David. time with you. I really appreciate you. it. Wayne, well, Victoria, it's great to, uh, nice to meet you. And uh, good luck with your work. Thank you for your insight. It was very empowering. And I don't know, I think I learned a good amount. I think we all learned a good amount. So I know, you know, we are grateful for how many Clark alums support the university Definitely, after yeah. they leave. And I, I know, for example, that Samantha and Mike Goodman. Correct, yeah. Samantha's an alumna of Clark have, have been supporting your program. And I just want to want to thank them uh, and encourage other alums to think about opportunities to support student um, activities and work, Definitely. Uh, just as Samantha and Mike are doing. Amazing. Thank Great. you so much.